Bonjour à tous, bienvenue à notre leçon de Learn French with Madame. Aujourd'hui, on va parler au sujet de chapitre 3, vocabulaire 1, les descriptions. So, hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of Learn French with Madame. We are going to talk about chapter 3, vocab 1. We're going to learn how to describe people. So, we're going to learn how to describe yourself and describe others and say, oh, he's tall, she's short, etc., etc. OK, donc on va commencer. So let's start. La première mot, on a « il est ». So we should already be able to say what « il est » means because we've learned both of those things. We know « il » is he and « a » is the verb « is ». So « il est » means he is. And then we have « grand ».« Il est grand ». OK, « il est grand » to say « he is tall ». OK? La prochaine, on a les yeux. Les yeux. Les yeux are eyes. So, les yeux, eyes. OK? We have les yeux bleus, les yeux verts, les yeux noirs, et les yeux marron. OK? Donc, on a les yeux bleus, les yeux verts, les yeux noirs et les yeux marron. So, we have blue eyes, green eyes, dark brown, almost black eyes, and brown eyes, like a chestnut brown eyes. OK? La prochaine, il est. Remember, we should know il est means he is. So, il est sérieux. Il est sérieux. What do you think sérieux is? Oui, serious. Il est sérieux. Elle est sérieuse. So if il est meant he is, elle est must mean what? Oui, she is. So we have sérieux and sérieuse. So these both mean the same thing except in French, there's usually a different adjective to describe somebody who is masculine and then somebody who is feminine. So just like how we have different subject pronouns for somebody who is a boy and somebody who is a girl, we have the same thing for masculine and feminine. So sérieux goes with the masculine and sérieuse goes with the feminine. A helpful hint before we move on, most adjectives, if they end in E-U-X, so those last three letters on seria, they end in E-U-X. That means they're either masculine or plural. Then if they end in E-U-S-E, -E, it's feminine. So just a little helpful hint. Okay, so we have seria and serieuse. La prochaine, L-A, we know she is. L-A, russe. L-A, russe. So we're talking about red hair. L-A, russe. Okay, et la prochaine, il est roux, il est roux. So now we're describing hair, so elle est russe, il est roux. So same concept, if it ends in S-E, it's feminine, if it ends in an X, it's masculine. So elle est russe, il est roux. Okay, on continue, elle est grande, elle est grande. So this is just like the first word that we learned to say, he is tall, il est grand. But this time to make the adjective feminine, we added an E at the end. So it's the same word as the first word we learned for tall, but we just added an E to say she is tall. So our adjective that we're using to describe that person has to agree with our subject. So if it's feminine, you're going to want to put an E on the end. So L A grand. And then once we have that last letter, we say that we, once we have that E, we say that last letter. So if I wanted to say he is tall, I say il est grand. And I don't say that last letter. But if I say she is tall, I say L A grand. And I say the D. Okay. La prochaine, il est pénible. Il est pénible. This sounds a little bit hard to get based off the picture, but il est pénible just means boring, tiresome, or difficult to be around. Just somebody that you don't really like to be around. So, il est pénible. Okay, la prochaine, il est 
sympa ou gentil. Il est gentil ou sympa. So this just means nice or kind. Sympa is short for sympathique, kind of think like sympathetic. And when somebody is sympathetic, they're nice. A gentil is kind. So sympa is short for sympathetic or sim sympathique. So we have sympa for nice and gentil for kind. Et la prochaine, elle est sympa et gentille. So sympa does not change for masculine or feminine. We leave that one alone. It does not change. And gentil, we're going to add an L-E to make it feminine. But we'll talk about adjective agreement later on, just so you can kind of recognize it. It's still pronounced pretty much the same. Il est gentil, elle est gentille. But just so you know, it looks a little bit different when you write it. Okay, prochaine, on a, il est mince, elle est grosse. Okay, so look at these two pictures and tell me what you think mince and grosse mean. Okay, so il est mince means he is thin and elle est grosse means she is fat. So we're going to talk about that and how those adjectives change for each gender. Okay, la prochaine, c'est la même photo, it's the same picture. Elle est mince, il est gros. So now, once we've had, since we've seen the previous picture, we know that mince does not change for either gender. It stays the same, mince and mince. You don't change anything. Gros, you do change a little bit. You add an S-E, so it's il est gros, elle est grosse. So it kind of changes the pronunciation a little bit. Okay, but once again, mens does not change for either gender. Prochain, il est brun. Il est brun. What do you think il est brun means? Oui, he has brown hair. Il est brun. Et elle est brune means she has brown hair. Il est brun. Elle est brune. Okay, la prochaine, elle a les cheveux blancs. Elle a les cheveux blancs. She has white hair. Et il est intelligent. Il est intelligent. Il est intelligent. Elle est intelligente. So the only difference with these ones, they are smart, means he is smart, she is smart. The only thing that we change is we add an E to make it feminine. So il est intelligent. Elle est intelligente. Okay, et c'est tout le mot de vocabulaire pour aujourd'hui. That's all of the vocab for today. So a relatively short video, but I did want to talk a little bit about those adjectives and how they agree, just so that once we start talking about adjective agreement, you have a pretty good like toe in the water knowledge about it, just so you're not a little freaked out once you see them. We are going to talk about some more vocab and asking about what people are like and using some more words to describe people, but this is a good place to start for right now. Donc, si vous avez des questions, if you have any questions, n'hésite pas à m'envoyer un email. Don't hesitate to send me an email. Et c'est tout pour aujourd'hui et à plus.